you know, I could really sort of call this a uh, channel update. I don't think I've ever done a channel update, but I know the eight of you are real. Uh, oh, I mean the four, used to be eight. I think we're down to four. The four of you are really gonna miss all the crappy product reviews that I used to do in my workshop. Sorry about that. Hey, hey, sir. I think that guy just broke a rule because regulations state that you can't have your shirt off until March the 1st. I'm gonna have to report him. All right, so you see this dock and everything. One day I was watching YouTube and, I, you know, it was just people having fun. They were cooking out and everything. And I started looking and it was like, I know exactly where that place is. And it was a bunch of people partying here and having fun. And what they've done is they, uh, they just built a dock on their property. They don't have a house, but they come out here and party on it. One of the great things for me living on an island is you don't have to drive anywhere to work out. On my island, there's so much to do. You can just leave your house, go walk, run, ride your bike. It's literally like an outdoor gym. That's probably one of my favorite things about living on an island. I'm on the uh, scenic walkway right here and there is mystery creek and i did a video about that that normally about eight people would watch but i think i'm down to about four now but there's mystery creek and why do i call it mystery creek because i didn't know where it went if you go that way but i found out in the video link in description of course Today is such an amazing weather day here in the middle of February that you just got to get out and take advantage of it. Just absolutely beautiful, a little bit warm, and it's just awesome. Now city folks would use mulch. On an island, we use oyster shells. Another thing I like about my island, like, okay, I'm at the ocean right now, and this is a oceanfront house, probably built in the 1950s or 1960s, small. But it's right here beside, you know, what people would call modern architecture. But this island, traditionally known through the years, and all my upbringing as kind of a blue collar, island and i definitely like that about this island a lot of places you see are just so commercialized and resort but uh this is different now a couple years ago hurricane wiped out all of these dunes that protect these homes so all of these dunes they've been rebuilt within the last year and you can see the difference the ocean's way down there and the dunes way up here so they've all been rebuilt over the last couple of years to protect these oceanfront homes if you live on an island you don't need a gym membership if you're creative your entire gym is right here on the beach in the ocean and in this thick sand run walk bike you get out there and swim kayak paddleboard fish yeah you don't need a gym membership if you live on an island you know a lot of people do not like the beach in the winter and i guess i'm i would be an exception to that because i absolutely love the beach in the winter 
because there's a whole lot less people and you find other things to do. So let me show you. There's the pier. And between me and the pier, I mean, there's, there's just nobody. I'm out here by myself. All right, there's uh, several dolphin about 20 yards right here in the breakers chasing some bait. I mean, they are right on the beach. I hope they'll come up so I can get a good shot of them. There they are. That's something else you're not gonna see in your gym. You're not gonna see the wildlife right there. If it was warm, I'd go out there and swim with them. But it's cold and I'm too much of a wuss to go into the water. Well, right there's another reason that I like to live on an island. Dolphins. When you are walking on a beach, it's a good idea to take your face out of your phone and look around at your surroundings. I had just talked to a lady and went ahead and continued my walk and when I'm on a beach, I'm always scanning the horizon. I'm just looking for stuff. And these dolphins were, you know, they were breaching right there. And I turned around to see if the lady that I was talking to saw them. Well, when I turned around, her face was buried into her iPhone. So I had to whistle at her and then point so you know if you get your face out of your iphone when you're in places like this there's just no telling what you're going to see so that's adventure steve tip for today all right there's another reason right there that i like to live on an island i can walk over or ride my bike over or drive my vehicle over and just hang out on the pier or I can fish off the pier. Pretty cool to be able to do that. This year, I will get a membership. It's a yearly membership to the pier. This particular pier is Ocean Crest Pier. And I'll buy a membership for this one because that's one of the things that I want to do is do more pier fishing this year. So that's definitely a benefit to living on an island. Let me show you something here. There is not a tourist alive that has been anywhere near this pier that hasn't got this shot right here that I'm, I'm showing you. I promise. So even though I'm lucky enough to live on an island now, I've been coming to this island my entire life. My family's own property here, my entire life virtually. So being able to take the next step and live here is uh, pretty awesome and I'm very grateful. When you live on an island, like I said, you don't need a gym membership. You come out to the beach and let's say you go to the gym and you walk two miles on the treadmill or you go to walk two miles on a trail or you walk two miles on a flat sandy beach. I guarantee that you'll get more health benefits two miles on a beach and I'm not even talking about the soft sand. You can walk in the hard pack stuff and you will get more benefit. 
follow the science. I have no idea why I said that, but you know, I've heard that a lot lately. And by the way, can I take just one moment to recognize the Canadian truckers and the Canadian people? Holy crap, they are freaking awesome. 99? 100. You don't need a gym when you live on the island. I'm looking at my Gaia app, and right now I have walked 1.4 miles. Now it won't be long till it starts warming up, and these beaches start filling up with tourists and whatnot. So now is the time to get out here and enjoy this even if it's cold i like to come out here on ice cold days and ride the e-bike around and just do stuff like that so i love it when there's not many people here and basically just ignore the weather and come out and enjoy it and i guess that's another reason i like living on an island so i've been walking for about a mile and these are the first people that I've met up with in the last mile. And I don't know about you, but I like that. So here's another thing. During the last hurricane, everything you see here was wiped out. Nothing. It was nothing but the ocean coming up to these homes right here. So they went through a big renourishment program. They've planted all these sea oaks. Now, all that's fine and dandy, and they've created walkways for you to get access to the beach because they don't want you on the, on the dunes and out here in these sea oats, and all that's fine and dandy. However, it's just temporary. Mother Nature's gonna rear her ugly Karen head one day. She's gonna take all this again. But in the meantime, these folks have a little bit of a sense of security that their place is not going to be destroyed but all that's going to leave one day because mother karen is coming for what she owns also let me show you something right there that's the name of this house it's called southern horizons when you live on an island it's like mandatory law that you have to name your house. So I've got a couple ideas for my house as far as naming it. Y'all have to tell me what you think. I'm, I'm between these two choices, no trespassing or keep out. I don't know, and down in the comments, Y'all tell me which one, and hey, don't forget to subscribe, join my Patreon, and send me some money on PayPal. Thanks very much. So that house right there is called Tickled Pink. That's the name. But I don't get it. I have no idea why they would call that Tickled Pink. That's weird. All right, I'm heading back now, and this is a different walkway that crosses the marsh. And I check here every now and then. I got one of those little free library things. I look inside there, see if they got any cool books. The best book that I ever found is someone had the original uh, paperback Rambo. And I grabbed it uh, and kept it. Now I don't know. This might be a good book. Any book where the title ends in anus has to be a great book. This particular walkway does not have a kayak ramp like the other, but this is still Mystery Creek. Mystery Creek. One thing I do like about this walkway is this covered area in the summertime. A lot of people will be in here and they'll bring a cooler and 
watch the sun go down and drinking wine and beer and just they're all friendly when you walk past them another thing that i like about this one is it does have a little launch here if you want to use it for a kayak or you can fish off of it see a lot of people crabbing off it so i'll plan on doing some of that this year but i do like that and this is the davis canal it's been in some of my videos but you can take the davis canal and head west and it will take you out to the ocean more awesome wildlife um I can identify that. I like to, uh, I've been brushing up on my species identification, and I'm, that was a bird. Alrighty. I think that's going to do it for my channel update, Island Life. And I'll see you again real soon.